الحمد للہ و صلاحت و سلام علی نبی محمد و علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بر حبت فلّہ اٹس امپورٹنٹ ٹو نو دی اساس آف اسلام دی فاؤنڈیشن آف اسلام is to adhere to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam, meaning the Qur'an and the sunnah. And this is what the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam ordered. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us with. Qala subhana wa atiyu allaha wa atiyu rasul. And obey Allah and obey the Messenger. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that adhering to the book and the sunnah is where our success lies. And if we want our deeds accepted by Allah Azza wa Jal, that requires sincerity, ikhlas, and it requires the second condition, ittiba, meaning to follow. Follow who? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So if you want your deeds accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that means you have to have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَى لَيْعَبُدُ اللَّهَ مُخْلِسِينَ اللَّهُ دِينَ And they weren't commanded except to worship Allah alone with sincerity. And to him is the religion, meaning all worship belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's where the sincerity is, meaning that you're doing your deeds strictly for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the ittiba', the second condition, is following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to have your deed accepted. So it's not sufficient just to have sincerity and then worship how you please, but rather your worship has to be in accordance with with how the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did his worship. And this is why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kullu bid'atin dalala, that all bid'ah, all innovation, all religious innovation is misguidance. Wa kullu dalalatin finnar, and all of misguidance leads to the fire. Because the person who innovates in the religion It is as if they are claiming, so it's, you can almost infer, as some of the Salaf mentioned, I think a, a statement of Imam Shafi'i, or also it was Imam Malik, who said that whoever has had the Sharia you know, clarified for them, and they commit a bid'ah, then it is as if they are saying that the Prophet wasallam was deceptive, in delivering the message. Why? Because the fact is that when you do something and you know it contradicts the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is as if you're saying that what you're doing is better, that it's an increase in reward or your new way of worship or your increase or your decrease of a legislated act of ibadah is better as if you know better than the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So this shows us the importance of those two main fa- foundations of Islam and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.